15 years ago, I lived with my family in uh, Herzegovina, in town Trebinje. It's very near Adriatic Sea, near Dubrovnik. I have a wife, two boys, uh, 12 years, I and the youngest boys have seven years. And I had a private fish farm, but uh, when the uh, war uh, starts, I must uh, go out from my town with family without any things. Only we bring some clothes without information where will it go. My father said that we had to leave. Th that was a kind of shocking for me because uh, I had my friends, I had my life, I had my school, my everything, normal life. And we are going somewhere. We wasn't sh sure, we were not sure where we, we are going to. I was seven years old and I went to first grade. When the war began, uh, we had to uh, leave our town. I didn't know why. I just went with my family and then we fled to Montenegro first and after that to Denmark. And when we came to Denmark, we f I felt uh, a relief. I felt safe and I knew that war was behind me. My, my impressions uh about my parents at the time we arrived in Denmark uh, were that they were happy because we saved our lives but they were a bit sad because they left everything they had they were all in, in a certain depression of mood when we was in Denmark, usually on night, in morning, because uh, we not have a chance to work in first time, we discuss about future. First future for my children and future for my family. And the uh, best I did that go in Bosnia. My father always told me, uh, soon as the war ends, we will go back. We will not stay there forever. Just uh, we will be refugees, real refugees. Denmark is my second country, it's not my country and uh, it's a different climate, temperaments and when I put in my he uh, head, hand, uh, head what is uh, best and th think uh, about uh, Penzia and I feel uh, that it's not so good for that I be in Denmark I not will be happy and I, I decide and prepared and start prepared for Bosnia Okay then. Neka, 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 I had this kind of job for 12 years and uh, I visit alone some fish farm as uh, when I walk and drive bicycle in Denmark and I like to, to go in and to work and uh, I help me uh, in brand they help me commune and uh, give me a chance that I go I say please I want to work and to learn because every day I'm down with science about technology about information I will lost my knowledge very soon and help me and I uh, had the jobs on one fish farm it's, it was practical jobs but it's very nice jobs I was very happy and learn about organization on fish farm is, and uh, learn about disease, uh, about uh, fish food, how you use it, about export and so on. This food coming from Denmark. And I was in this factory and I know some people and why coming from Denmark? Because it's high, high quality and uh, here, on, on, not only on this fish farm, in other fish farm, we have a good result. With production of uh, small fish fingerlings and so on. I visit this factory as a refugees. 
and today help and I have information about uh, this company and my friends in other fish farm have good result. It was big help for future me and I got some literature and uh, some newspaper about aquaculture and it was I surprised how science and technology go up very it's very short time it's big uh, when it's described one or two years without any information. Later I was one uh, institute in Aqua Center in Silkeburg and it was a higher uh, level education about uh, aquaculture and meet some people and after that I visit many fish farms in Denmark and some factory for processing fish from uh, nets, uh, cake nets and so on. Eto, još jedno možemo se možda čuje. Čuješ, oću. In first period in Denmark, I not use on good way. And I have, u stvar, no taj, all refugees have three times all day, all weeks, all months without jobs, but have chance to learn, have chance for education, but as I want one very short time, Time, few months, or so I not use for any education, and uh, later when I heard about many courses about everything, I learn about fish. But now I'm so sorry because I not learn about uh, Danish language. I not uh, uh, learn English because the English is not my good, and not learn about computer because and other education, we have chance to to learn what we want, but I not use full time to learn. Čujete, stvarno ovo na trebanju mi se doći ovo maltreciranje, da ste vi jedva izdržali, ne ja. After war stop, my family, my wife and I decided to want to go in Bosnia. And where? Because it was in this period, 1960, it was very dangerous to return in my town, have a few reasons. One is the uh, fish farm was destroyed, uh, my private house was destroyed. It was very difficult for jobs in my town and it's not so good atmosphere it was in uh, nineteen sixty and we decided to go in Sarajevo. When I was in Denmark, I have, I have uh, had contact with the uh, University for Science in Sarajevo and, uh, had, uh, and called me and said, you are welcome because there haven't enough people here. Many people go out in the old world. Some people died in war and uh, promised me jobs. My job uh, here on the University is not education for students, it's a practical job. My job is go in natural, go to build a fish farm, make education on a fish farm, not here on, on university. I go alone 1960 in August, prepared flat because we haven't flat here in Sarajevo, it's a rental flat, and use some money uh, uh, because Denmark is a country and Road Cross give some money for refugees, I use it for some furniture, for some equipment in, in flat. And about, uh, I try to have information about school for my boys because it's not the same program as how it's in Denmark and prepared. And across five months, I called my family and my family was in December 1906 in this town in Sarajevo. The first day in Bosnia was terrible, awful. Uh, we came to a flat apartment uh, that was not good. We had no furniture because furniture had to come from Denmark. We had no electricity, we had no gas, no water. But luckily, next day it was brighter, better. I went to school where I met new friends. And when I, uh, I was really good accepted there. I was kind of satisfied with my life in Denmark. I had everything what normal boys had at the age 16, girlfriends, parties, uh, 
I had no problems in, in life and uh, I didn't know what to accept when, uh, when we arrived. And when we arrived at first time, first day, first month, first year, I was very disappointed and uh, uh, but, but, but I knew that better times are coming and uh, I knew that we had to fight for better future. My family and all people here and we are still fighting. <laughs> when I returned from Denmark in uh, 1906 and got a job on uh, university, my first job was uh, to clean, to help my colleagues uh, to prepare these uh, buildings and laboratory and library and everything for future. This is uh, one microscope uh, from laboratory uh, who was destroyed in, in fire because he happened war and everything was destroyed and we clean. Uh, and what means war? It's not only for people, it's what means for equipment. Everything destroyed high temperature is the same for books. For other equipment, and this stay on my table as uh, one kind of mo monument, how is stupid any war. And uh, now we got some new and some equipment coming from Denmark, and it's a big help because everything was destroyed. It was very difficult uh, decision that go, won't go in Bosnia. But uh, uh, it was uh, easy if you feel that you will be in Bosnia and uh, with you on every corner heard voice of people who talk your language, who talk about uh, future and I, I was very rich in these times and I first my jobs on university was three months I clean here. Uh, books go on fire and we clean it, but I was happy. Things, things in life are never perfect and if you are waiting to uh, make uh, life conditions perfect to go back, you will never come back. Because nothing is perfect and nowhere is perfect. In my opinion, it's very important to build network and keep this network in, when you are in Denmark and later when I in the new country. Because this help on many way. For example, here my, co my colleagues and I was in Denmark in one project, three weeks education, we got uh, some equipment. We was on one cursus about uh, fish food, about fish disease, about technology and we got some, uh, some furniture for laboratory, we got a microscope, some literature, some books, it's big help for him. If I was in a situation as my father was, I would really do the same. I would come. I have a really nice and normal life here. I met many girls. I study, finished primary, secondary school. I study in college now, in university, and I have really normal life. In Denmark, I will always be a foreigner, and no matter how I try to, to integrate in that society. Uh, uh, Denmark is my second, second country, I, I can say like that, but I really appreciate it. It's a friendly nation, but Bosnia is my home country. My, my parents are happy, my brother is happy, I am happy. And I, now I'm, I'm glad and I thank my parents because they decide, decided at the time that we should go back to our homeland, where we belong. My uh, experience and my opinion and uh, my result here, what, what I work and so on, is good idea. Use time as a refugee is on best way, how to use to make, uh, to learn, to go on education, go on practical jobs, and after that use in new country, with experience and tomorrow coming helps from country and coming good situation for your country. And it's my practical 
é my life experience. Thank <laughs> you.